There you go. Turn bar Keep system. Turn bar system and turn the axles around because they're uh, they're bent up. So we're going to turn them around them about 180 degrees. Okay, this is the turn bar stuff that came from Infinity. And uh, all the bolts and nuts. I've got some Loctite. They said they need some Loctite. Here's their uh, directions and, uh, and some pictures to go with it. So we'll, we'll figure it out from there exactly what, what goes where and how it goes. If not, Infinity says call them. So uh, any questions, we'll give them a call. Okay, that bar has to be removed and put the new bar in for the turbines. It's not coming out. Well, and then uh, the rear axle here, we had to raise the tank up with a hoist and we're unbolting everything. Of course, gas lines had to be clipped. And so uh, when bolting them, we're just gonna turn this axle. 180 degrees. You got it out, Jack? Huh? Got it out? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Jack has shoved this other bar in, and this is their turn bar. So it just kind of rocks in here. Then he'll bolt it down, and of course, this part, uh, this uh, bracket has to go back into that. And uh, then we'll start bolting the whole thing together. Okay, I've turned that axle 180, and as you can see now, it's uh, it's not uh, bent. It's bent down instead of bent up. And so that should give it a little more clearance under the plane and actually track a little better. So now we got to uh, replace the gas lines and put the tank back down. Jack is still working on the uh, turn bar system here. Okay, Jack has assembled this. Hasn't tightened it up yet, but according to their diagram, this is how you yeah, This is how it goes. So it's looking pretty good. Tighten it up. Then the uh, turn system goes on here. Uh, there again, the axles were down instead of up. Uh, we're gonna put back the tank and some fuel lines and. Oh, uh, okay. It's finishing up uh, just that one tube. Yeah, I'm gonna tighten that up. And then you have to drill holes into this thing. Put those flanges on. I've got to go uh, put new primer line on. Let me show you the primer line. Down here we got no primer line. Guess we're gonna run okay. it through the side up here and then up. So we're getting there. Okay, so to attach this, they want another stop here. So we had to drill a hole through this uh, assembly and uh, then attach, had to drill a hole here to attach the turn bar stuff. And so I guess another separate stop is what he wanted. Looks, so you got two stops so it doesn't over, over uh, go too far. Okay, we're finishing up the turn bar system. We're going to put some non-skid non surface on here. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> and uh, set in the back seat and kind of measured out my length. Steve's going to be sitting back there, so uh, it actually pulls. It pushes the bar here, and uh, okay. we've got the rear axle. Well, that looks good, Jack. It looks good. we got the rear axle done. We just need to get this tank back into the back into the bracket here that, that rear bracket okay we've completed the uh, turn bar system had to drill some holes out had to actually drill all this out and put another stop in here is what they wanted so that had to be all be drilled out uh, we've uh, installed the bar and that connects to the uh, support from the back Put some non-slip uh, tread on here. I've got the back, and these are about just about the way you want the darn things. So it actually took us a lot longer than what we thought. So uh, I have to tell Grady that it's a good three hours, three and a half hours just to do this, maybe four, and then the axle. So 
Oh well, we still gotta put that gas tank back. Darn it. Okay, we've completed the, uh, the finished the, uh, we installed all the turn bar systems here. This is the foot pegs. And as you push on this, it rotates the front of the turn bar here. We've got all that hooked up. Of course, he's got the double uh, throttle, double turn bar. He's got the rear cutoff switch or kill switch. It's looking pretty good. We've uh, turned the axles over so that the axles actually now, let's see if you can see this. The tire is finally straight up and down compared to before where it was kind of cantilevered out. So now we're gonna round. We're finished with it. We've done the, uh, we had to put in all new lines for the, uh, for the uh, uh, primer because the other one broke. And so uh, we've got all this set up. This doesn't quite fit right. He needs to get the bullet, uh, bullet uh, air filters. And again, there's the uh, turn bars. Gas tanks all the way back in together. Everything's looking good ready to go. I have to fire it up, see, make sure it runs, and then we'll fly it, we'll test fly it, make sure that uh, it can fly from the back.